Welcome back to Checkpoint, I'm OK Schlatter. And I'm Blake Chapman. If you're not much of a Taylor Swift fan, you might not be aware that she released a new version of her hit single, Love Story, last week, just in time for Valentine's Day. The new Taylor's version quickly rose to the top of the trending page on Twitter and was streamed over 10,000 times in its first day. Wow. The only songs that outperformed it the week ending on February 14th were Fake Woke by Tom McDonald, Dynamite by BTS, and a Driver's License by Olivia Rodrigo. This new version is among the first steps that Swift is taking to regain copyright control of her early work. In case you didn't know, Swift does not own the original master recordings of her earlier albums. To enact revenge on her current copyright holders, she's re-recording all of those albums, starting with Fearless. Swift said she chose to start with Fearless because it was a sort of coming of age for herself and her career. The re-recorded version of Fearless is dropping sometime in April and will feature six songs that were cut from the original album. Nice! Although Swift promised some changes in the new versions, none of the lyrical content has changed in the Taylor's version of Love Story, which has left many fans relieved. So how does re-recording all of her older work change anything? Well, Swift still has control over the licensing of that material and can deny licenses for use of her old master recordings. That would force filmmakers and potentially even streaming services to only use the new recordings of her work, therefore devaluing the original master recordings that she does not own. This isn't the first time an artist has re-recorded some of their material because of ownership, but it could be the first time such an effort is widely successful, thanks to the widespread availability of the internet and online streaming services like Spotify. Even if you're not a Swift, this is still a big deal for music copyright in general, and could have a major influence on future artist copyright contracts. So what do you think? Are you going to stream the Taylor's version of her new music when it comes out? Do you think this might encourage other artists to do something similar? Let us know in the comments below. For all your entertainment, tech, and pop culture news, make sure to subscribe to Byte BSU and keep up to date with us on Checkpoint. I swear to God, if we get to that paragraph and I say Swifty, <laughs> you have my permission to put a single bullet on it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.